Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 10 of exercise 9a, chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportion of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9a, questions 1 to 10 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio of Proportion and Unitary Method. And topics are concept of ratio, simplest form of a ratio, equivalent ratios, and simplifying ratios. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 2. Question number 2 is a man earns 7,500 7, rupees a year and spends 6,300 rupees a year. Find the ratios of his income to his expenditure. Given his income is 7,500 rupees, a man earns 5, 7,500 rupees in a year. So his income is 7,500 rupees and his expenditure will be, expenditure is 6,300 rupees in a year. So find the ratio of, you have to find the ratio of his income to his expenditure. So ratio of the man, the ratio of his income, income divided by expenditure. Expenditure means spends. How, how much money he earns? 7,500 rupees. Divided by expenditure. How much he spends? 6,300 rupees. Cancelling zeros, two zeros. We get 75 rupees divided by 63 rupees. Now between 75 and 63, 3, 3 is the common ratio. So dividing the 75 with 3 and 63 with 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25 and 63 divided by 3 is 21. Now we get C25 divided by 21 and ratio ratio of his income to his expenditure is 25 is to 21. So ratio of his income to his expenditure. is 25 is to 21. 25 is to 21 is the answer. Now we will solve question number second B. Find the ratio of his savings to his income. A man earns 7,500 rupees in a year. So his, his income is 7,000 Income is 7,500 rupees. He spends 6,300 rupees in a year. So his savings will be income minus spending, spending money. That is expenditure. And income is 7,500 rupees. And expenditure that is he spends 6,300 rupees in a year. So 6,300 rupees. And 7,500 minus 6,300 is 1,200 rupees. 
1200 rupees is his savings now ratio of his savings divided by ratio of his savings to his income so ratio will be savings divided by income and saving is 1200 rupees we got that uh, saving will be earning money minus spending money that is 7500 rupees minus 6300 rupees and that is 1200 rupees and income is 7500 rupees now cancelling zeros now between 12 and 75 3 is the common ratio so divide the antecedent 12 with 3 and the consequent 75 with 3 now 12 divided by 3 is 4 and the consequent 75 divided by 3 is 25 now 4 is 4 divided by 25 is 4 is to 25 and 4 is to 25 is the ratio of his savings to his income so 4 is to 25 is the answer Now we will solve question number three. A bag contains five kg of rice. Fifteen hundred gram have been taken out for cooking. What is the ratio of the amount taken out to the uh, amount left in the bag? It is given that a bag contains five kg of rice. Quantity of rice in the bag is five kg. That is five hundred five thousand gram. And fifteen hundred gram have been taken out for cooking. Quantity of rice that have been taken out for cooking is fifteen hundred fifteen hundred gram. We have to find the ratio of the amount taken out to the amount left in the bag. Ratio of the amount taken out. The quantity of rice taken out <coughs> is fifteen hundred gram, and quantity of rice. Left in the bag will be quantity rice left in the bag. Each a bag contains five kg of rice. Total. Quantity of rice minus quantity of rice taken out for cooking. Total quantity of rice is five kg. Five kg means five thousand gram. Minus quantity of rice taken out for cooking is fifteen hundred gram. Five thousand minus fifteen hundred will be zero zero, and fifteen minus fifteen is thirty five. Three thousand five hundred gram. The quantity of rice left in the bag is three thousand five hundred gram.
now we have to find out the ratio of the amount taken out. Quantity of rice taken out. Taken out for cooking divided by quantity of rice left in the bag. Quantity of rice left in the bag. Which is equal to quantity of rice taken out is 1500 gram. And quantity of rice left in the bag. We got 3500 gram. Now cancelling zeros and 15 and 35. Between 15 and 35, 5 is the common ratio. So divide the antecedent 15 with 5 and the consequent 35 with 5. We get 5, 7, 5, 3, 15. And five seven the thirty five. So ratio of the ratio of the amount taken out to the amount left in the bag is three divided by seven, or three is to seven. Three is to seven. So three is to seven is the answer. The ratio of the Amount taken out for cooking to the amount left in the bag is 3 to 7. Keep learning, keep watching and please visit my blog maxgrad.com. Link is in here. HTTPS www. This is my blog link. And join my telegram group. This is my telegram group link. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. If you like this video, then please click the like button and share it. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. If you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.